In the 1930s, when most of our subjects were growing up, Germany was undergoing major political changes with the rise of Hitler to power. The lives of all Germans, along with many of the world's population, would be forever changed during the coming Second World War. For our subjects, these years were their formative years, and the events of these times play an important part of their stories. Well, it, it, it started before 1933, before Hitler took power. There must have been quite a sort of a, a, a movements, underground movements, since uh, 1931 or 32. And father was approached by some of the Nazi party people in the area uh, to join them because they wanted to get rid of this syphilitic baron von Rando. And father apparently said, uh, as far as he knew, the Nazis were registered, were uh, 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 were criminals, criminals, yes, and thugs. And he didn't uh, uh, want to associate with criminals. Uh, so uh, when the party had actually come to power on the thirtieth of January, nineteen thirty-three, shortly after he was uh, his his his. Uh, position was terminated. He was fired and we had to leave, uh, must have been around about the, the, the 1st of April 1933 already. And in 1936, I believe, uh, early 36, my father joined the, the uh, the Nazi party because um, it, it, there was so much pressure put on uh, independent people or a small business people too that um, that he felt it necessary to to join the party and when I um, jo uh, when I started school on on one occasion the the teacher who was actually quite an ardent young Nazi and made everybody put on their 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 um, clothes, their white singlets and black shorts and march through the town and, and sing songs uh, which were actually composed for the Nazi party. And the, the first song we learned at school was Nur der Freiheit gehört unser Leben. And only, to, only to freedom do we dedicate our lives. And so when I came home, and told father, you know, I, I asked my father, what does freedom mean? And he said, what on earth are you talking about? And I said, well, that, you know, we learned this song at school. And he said, sing it. So I had to sing this. And he just hit the roof and he said, has it come to this now? <laughs> and I've never forgotten it. So I've, I've never dared to sing it at home again, but... Of course, we had to sing it at school. <laughs> um, and then a short time later, the teacher said, well, I see your father has joined the party now. Tell him he should subscribe to the Sturmer magazine. And, and nowadays people know that the Sturmer magazine was a, a very hate-filled um, a sort of magazine published uh, by the by the Nazi Party to instill hatred in the Jews in in Germany, and um, I I didn't know of course so I reported to my mother as she was cooking the dinner in the kitchen uh, that father should subscribe to the Sturmer magazine, and she said well tell father when he comes in. So I did, and he's. I can still remember him bending down and shouting into my face, your teacher can kiss my bottom, you know, run down my backside, actually. And, uh, but, it, you know, it sort of means kiss my bottom. So the next day at school, the teacher asked, and I said truthfully, you can kiss my father's bottom. So that had consequences and for many many years I did not know what I had actually done and how so how it had it could have been very very sort of almost fatal for my father because then after a while the, the, the policeman came and I can still see the policeman leave